What's going on, my friends? It's me. I'm back with another unrelated barbering video, but sort of related barbering video. Um, so I just wanted to record a video of this camera here I've bought for uh, my future haircut videos. I uh, I plan to kind of add to my whole camera lineup so I can have multiple multiple angles and multiple kind of you know visual you know visuals but I picked this up and I just can't believe how shitty this camera is um, I only say that because I have the previous model of this camera the 5100 here this was called let's see if we can get that in focus you know, there it is, whatever. Um, but, man, like, I, I just don't get it. The previous camera is so much better. It's like night and day. Um, sure, the quality seems to be better on this one. Uh, 24 megapixels versus 20 megapixels but this overheats in like five minutes why would anyone want a camera that overheats in five to ten minutes this camera I I've forgotten it on at times and it's lasted me two hours three hours until the battery died constantly recording this camera it, it can't even last more than 15 minutes and it's newer new and improved apparently um so yeah so youtube world all my barber brothers making them haircut videos and buying cameras to promote their businesses and stuff um buy the a5000 Stay away from the 5100. It sucks. The, the overheating is just is terrible. The A5000 has just as nice quality, just as good features. All the lenses work. All the batteries work. They're all the same as this. But I've even searched on YouTube to have workarounds, and I even made this little thing here, this little contraption I'm going to pull out to kind of you know save my purchase but it looks like I'm gonna be selling this but I went on YouTube and saw a video of uh, cooling it yourself and stuff so I was like why not I have some electronics laying around and I'm pretty handy with little projects and stuff so went ahead and pulled this out of some electronic I didn't need and chopped up some USB wire spliced it in so then when you plug it in a USB powered source which I'm gonna do now just give me one second okay me one second let's put this down it provides airflow and this is supposed to be attached to the back of the camera like so here actually I'll try to record myself doing it just like this all right and then I'm supposed to take a rubber band which I do have somewhere here like so and place it over that so I'll hold it in place all right okay whoops don't don't hit the fan and that is a makeshift cooling system for the fan, for the camera. 
and apparently it's supposed to make it last a lot longer than usual but I haven't been getting that result um, at most I'll get 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes um, I need longer than that if I'm doing a haircut video or some podcast or whatever um, I just I don't, I don't know I might have lost with this with this camera setup I just I didn't see anything like that <laughs> I don't know it's, it's kind of funny but um, I just want to make this video to kind of make awareness to people get the a5000 comes with full HD 1080p 30 frames to 25 to 28 frames and doesn't overheat inside outside I'm not sure outside it might overheat uh, you never know I don't know maybe you can use this outside with this um, with this fan setup it might might work outside I don't know but in terms of creation content um, this is not viable like this is like kind of ridiculous you know so uh, temporary solution to a to a problem that it's pretty pretty whack I don't know so what do you guys think Sony A5100 yay or nay it's a nay for me